You know, something with politics and black folks these days just don't mix, man. Some of y'all may know where I stand. Some of y'all may not know where I stand when it comes down to political views. I've always taken the oath of a red pill and always said to myself that I'm a free thinker. Okay. That means I can think how I want to. I don't need a sector of groups of people to think for me and tell me which political president candidacy, candidacy should I pick to choose from. I don't believe that people should be forced or individuals should be forced to pick or choose which candidate they support, no matter what national origin, religion, gender, or whatever the fuck you are but i'm gonna tell you something about black folks and politics <laughs> boy i tell you especially with black folks black folks will oh they will put you in the grave slander you for having an opinion or an op opposition opinion or even a choice of president candidacy that they choose to run this country especially if you are a black trump supporter you get slandered you get called you're a coon it's like black folks can't come together <laughs> and make a decision based on the differences and have a political dis dis discussion without leading it into physical violence or name calling see when i say the word free thinker that means i'm not controlled by any party any group or any thought process just me freestyling off the top of my dome and expressing how i feel rather you like it or you don't but you gotta respect it I've lost friends in the black community just for having my own political choices and my own political views or who I think is the best candidacy. I don't know why. I don't know why politics should break up friendships and families just because, you know, you have a flip side of the coin or you just have your own individuality, your own choice in matter. That doesn't make you a different person. That just means you just have different values of what you presume America to be. See, I don't give a shit, to be honest with you, who wins the election, you know, even if Trump does. But there's a lot of things that I do agree with Trump, even though I'm highly invested into the stock market, you know. And Trump is doing good, you know, for the stock market. Uh, you know, even though it's kind of up and down, but, you know, he's been kind of lifting it up during this 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 times of uh situation you know but with the coronavirus that is now i'm not gonna get too much into the political battles because they both have their differences you know there's some sometimes uh some things uh biden had said you know i agree with the first uh knockdown drag war between these two uh going on going at each other in the presidency um I, this is my honest opinion. Some will agree with me. Some may disagree with me. But um, I didn't like the way Trump was interrupting Biden every goddamn five minutes, man. Even though it was some funny ass shit. Don't get me wrong. But he just sounded like a whining baby. Keep cutting, cutting, cutting. Let the man talk, man. Rather you disagree with it, you don't. I know Trump is handling this shit. He's being an aggressor. He's an attacker. That's who he is. 
You know, he's an aggressive president. We have an aggressive energy of a president. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get it. I understand it. He loves America. Make America great again. So that's his slogan, right? Cool. Fair enough. Some people say, well, when was America great again? Go, we're going back in the time in the history where, you know, slavery was around. Is that what it means making America great again? I mean, ah, I could get that from some liberal uh, point of views, you know, when it comes down to blacks, when it comes down to those type of issues. I get that. But there's also some things that I, I do agree with Republicans and there's a lot, there's a, there's a few things that I also agree with Democrats as well. So I'm kind of like half and half in the middle of the situation. But listen, at the same time, I'm not for the hidden agendas in the, the mainstream media. I am a conservative Christian. I've stated that so many times. You know, curse like a sailor at the end of the day, man. I'm not here to promote any type of division or cause within the black community or white community or Hispanic community or any communities. I'm just here to speak the truth. Red pill, having a lot of knowledge and logic on the situation regarding to my personal opinions. What I think of this shit, this whole election thing now. Trump's got caught with the uh, coronavirus, right? And, you know, it's, they, some people are happy that he got it. I don't know why. I think that's a sick, cruel thing to say or do. Regardless of your disagreements of this man's... Um, Politician views at the end of the day he's still our president he is the president of the united states so we have to hold an accountability for our own actions because i don't think any of us would wish coronavirus on anybody or want somebody to die from it that if you got to stoop that low to wishing this happened to donald trump you are a sick motherfucker that's all i gotta say to you you're a sick person you don't have any type of of human compa compassion. Okay. His wife's got the corona. And a person has age and his weight. Let's just hope. Now listen. I'm showing you guys a little clip here from the Simpsons. I know I'm getting a little bit into the conspiracy thing. But I'm going to get back into the black photos. But listen. I just found this a little bit eerie. That you know. Donald Trump. The Simpsons. They predicted him. You know. Uh, becoming the president and then you see him in a coffin now I don't know but the Simpsons has been on point with these crazy predictions I've seen a cartoon with Kobe Bryant you know crashing in, in his helicopter and shit and he lost his rings and this fat guy looked, looked like LeBron James took the rings that shit is eerie and it so happened that the changing of the guards are LeBron ends up going to LA Kobe sacrifices his life for the city of LA, it's in LeBron James's hands to carry that. Now look what happened, man. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but listen, man, this is just things that go on in my head. I'm a free thinker. I'm allowed to think this way. And I'm pretty sure you guys have these thought processes too. But listen, we're all people at the end of the day. This is going to show us this whole corona shit. It's going to show us how strong we are mentally and physically. We got it. This is a mental war for our minds, to be quite honest with you. A mental war for our minds. The old saying goes, I used to say it like this, man. Y'all voted for which ba slave bastard y'all want to serve the most? <laughs> <laughs> Democrats, Republicans, man. I, listen, man, I don't trust none of them parties, bro. That's just me. But I, I I always tell people this, right? My honest opinion. Don't go by the character of these individuals. Don't go by their personalities and their characters. Go by the policies. They both sound like a bunch of idiots. We get it. They're doing this for show and entertainment. This is what they do for shows and entertainment. But let's just be real, folks. Do your vote. Judge it by the policies of what you feel is right for you don't judge it by your emotions because everybody say they got to get him out of here because he's racist don't do that because that's just the media playing into y'all minds and tricking y'all okay 
I had to wake up and actually see what was going on. Read the policies. Educate yourselves, blacks. I'm challenging all black people to educate yourselves. Educate yourselves, young black men and women. Educate yourselves, family members. Educate yourselves, all other races of people. Educate yourselves. Respect each other. Learn what it is to become an American. Learn what it is to be an American. Exercise your freedom of rights, but respect in others if they disagree with you. At the end of the day, when it comes down to debating and arguments, man, cool heads always prevail. Just remember that. Anyways, I got this Trump supported guy, man, you know, the red hat and all that, and he's quite upset. And he's speaking his uh he's speaking his uh situation on how he feels about uh President Trump being sick and people uh, you know, wishing for him to not recover, which I think to me I honestly that's just real sick. Wouldn't have that mentality in mind. But anyways, let's go ahead and play this guy. These crazy ass liberals. They have stooped so damn low. Excuse my language. But for them to sit up here and make fun of the president having COVID, making fun of him and Melania, is so damn sad. And I, 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 and I'm, I hate to talk like this. <laughs> but this shit needs to stop. stop making fun of the president for having COVID and then sitting up here wishing death upon him you don't wish death on nobody I don't give a damn if you don't like President Trump you don't wish death on nobody I don't like Joe Biden but I'm not about to wish death on him I don't like AOC but I'm not about to wish death on her that's not how I roll. That's not how you should roll. We should be praying for our leader. You don't make fun of somebody dying. Hey, you know what? I totally feel you on that, man. I totally feel you on that. Because I don't think that nobody should be praising somebody dying. But let's just get into some jokes here, man. Because I'm going to make this a little bit comical. But what the... Nigga, why is your head shaped like? Oh, Samity Sam, old head ass. Come on, man. Why your, why your, why your head, why your face, why your hat shaped like that? I mean, listen, I know you're a Trump supporter, but man, come on, good God, man. Come on, man. Oh, oh, Samity Sam, old head ass. I don't care. I wouldn't wish death on my worst enemy. You people are sick. Shame on you people for wishing death on our leader. Do y'all not know how that, do y'all not know how crazy that is? Why would you want your leader to fall? Answer my damn question. Why would you want your leader to fall? Why would you want your leader to die? Why? Wouldn't wish death on my worst enemy. You people are sick. Shame on you people for wishing death on our leader. Do y'all not know how that, do y'all not know how crazy that is? Why would you want your leader to fall? Answer my damn question. Why would you want your leader to fall why would you want your leader to die why explain to me how that makes sense explain to me how that's not evil that shit is damn right evil disgusting despicable <laughs> 